So guys, welcome back to another video. Footmus is now in full swing and EA have released a bunch of content on day one of the promo. We got two player SBCs and we also got another player which we can obtain by completing some weekly objectives. And that card that I'm referring to that you can get from objectives is this man, the 84 rated Jean-Paul Gabamin. Now this card actually looks pretty good and uh, it could actually make for a quite OP CDM in FIFA. So I'm definitely interested in trying this guy out. We're actually on my friend Dean's account for this video just because I haven't got around to unlocking this card yet. If you want to check out Dean, check out the link in the description. Um, anyway, let's have a look at this item because it looks pretty decent to be fair. The guy stands at 6 foot 1, he's got medium high wear crits which is good for a CDM and a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. His in game attributes also look pretty good. He's got an 88 rating for his sprint speed so when this guy gets going and running, this guy in game should feel actually really really quick and he should be able to track back quite a bit which is nice and um, he's got a really good shooting stat as well he's got 93 shot power so if the opportunity does come to him maybe we can take off a few shots with this guy his finishing is horrendous so uh, we won't want to be shooting inside the box with him but with him having 80 long shots maybe from distance this guy could be a threat He's got some pretty average passing stats. He's got 79 long passing and 83 short passing. They're not terrible, but obviously they're nothing too special. His dribbling department looks okay once again. Nothing too great, nothing too terrible either. He's got 82 ball control and 81 reactions. Now we come on to the defending and physical columns. Now these are the best of the bunch. His physical section looks awesome. This item has 88 aggression, 86 strength and 86 stamina. Very good stats. His defensive attributes also are relatively pleasing. He's got 84 interceptions, 84 defensive awareness and 85 stand tackle. All in all, I think this item looks very good for a freebie. So I'm definitely interested in giving it a go. Now we are going to apply a chem style to this guy and I'm going to go for Anchor just to uh, boost up his defensive and physical stats a bit more. Also, I guess it does give him a bit of a pace boost as well. Not that he really needs it because in game he looks like he's going to be very quick already. Anyway, let's get in some games and let's see how this item does. In game number one, this is what we are up against. Um, interesting side, Premier League theme with a couple of La Liga options. Um, some definite players to watch out for in this game, including that team in the group stage, Harry Kane, who is so clinical in front of goal. Chance now. It's JP brings the ball forward, slides it through for Schweinsteiger. And he's going he's gonna to join in with this attack, and he's going to put the ball through for Timo Werner, who surely won't miss from there. The ball bounced up really weirdly there, but uh, luckily we put the ball in the back of the net. Bauak, fine, Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger. Oh, great chance, and he's got himself a goal. He just drifted forward there, got himself into a good area and put the ball in the back of the net. Got to be honest, did not expect 13 minutes in to have a goal and an assist with my CDM. I'm not even purposely bringing him forward either. At the break, we have ourselves a 3-1 lead. As you can see, we've been quite clinical. We've had three chances, and we've taken all three of them. In the second half, we're going to switch to the 4-1-2-1-2, and we're going to play um, JP Gabamin as our lone CDM, and uh, we'll see how he does in that role. Gabamin getting back there to dispossess Mana. Oh, nice tackle there. Getting in just before he released the ball. Closing down Harry Kane here and then just taking the ball off him. Well, we just scored a fourth and my opponent has had enough and he has indeed rage quit. So, uh, yeah, pretty good debut for our defensive mid. Obviously got himself a goal and an assist in the first half, which was quite nice and, like I say, unexpected. But it's good to see that he has those capabilities. Um, but defensively, I thought he was also really solid. Made quite a few tackles and interceptions. And, um, yeah, just very happy with his debut performance. So let's move on in to another game and see how he does against a different opposition. In our next match, we come up against a very strong-looking side. This guy has Baby Butragoina. He's got Kante. He's got Sissoko, Longley, Davison Sanchez, Mo Salah as well. Very nice team. He likes to get forward, you know. And he's got another chance to score now because he's broken through and he has scored. Like, this guy likes to get forward. Now, I, I do have to point this out. I didn't do an L1 X pass. I didn't. He still ran forward, made a good run, and scored a really nice goal. But um, it's very interesting that he joins in with attacks so often. 
Oh, big tackle there. JP Gabamin really helping us out there. Could have been in trouble. So uh, at half time, the score is 3 2. Yeah, plenty of first half action in this game. As you can see, we have been the clinical, more clinical, sorry, of the two sides, and that's why we've got the three goals to his two. But um, yeah, relatively even game. We're going to change formation for the second half, and we're going to go to that 4 1 2 1 2 formation once again, and uh, JP will be playing as a sole DM. Gabamin plays the ball through. For Pepe, who's going to try to get around this man, but he gets nudged to the floor by Long there. And Pepe has just made it five, and I think we about to get another rage quit. We indeed do. So uh, back to back rage quits, not too bad. How it was Jean Paul Gabanin in game number two? Once again, very solid. And um, one thing I'm noticing is when I play him in that 4 3 3, uh, he likes to get forward a lot. But when I play him as a lone DM in this 4 1 2 1 2, he sits back and defends very well. So, uh, yeah, that's something I've noticed in the past two games. Very happy with his performances thus far, though. He's been very solid defensively, and that is obviously very good to hear. The next team we faced looked pretty incredible. There are special cards everywhere. He's got Team of the Group Stage Martinez, Storyline Politano, Icon Guardiola, Team of the Group Stage Testegen, and also an inform um, Red Foot Champs, Carl Walker. Lucky guy. Barak, fans, Gabamin. He's going to do well to stay on his feet there after... Been in that battle with Dumuria. Oh, nice tackle there. Recovered well. Ah, the halftime whistle has just gone. Um, and sadly, we are 1 0 down. And I feel really hardly done by, to be honest, because uh, the goal we conceded was a corner in the 45th minute. So, a uh, bit annoyed about that, but hopefully we can bounce back in the second half. Oh, did really well to win the ball, though. And now we have a chance to break because of it. Oh, nice tackle there. Oh, get the shot away. Oh, chance. Oh, how has he not scored that? Daly on the edge of the box is dispossessed by Gabamin, who now has a chance to put the ball through. And it's not a bad ball, but unfortunately, we're not getting on the end of it. So, the full time whistle has just gone, and unfortunately, we did indeed lose 2 1. My opponent decided to pass around the back for the past 15 minutes and just waste time, which was. Um, Really nice of him, so as you can imagine, I'm a bit annoyed right now, but um, it was one of them games. I should have won it, I should have took my chances, and I would have won, but I didn't take my chances, and unfortunately, my opponent got the win, but um, yeah, that really does feel like a harsh loss, because uh, I just feel like I did enough to win, but apparently not. It's just, you know, one of them games. They happen in champs, I guess. Um, anyway, we're here to focus on um, G JP Gabavin, so uh, let's talk about him rather than my... Uh, poor performance. Um, he was pretty good to be honest, liked him in the second half, especially uh, when he was in that lone CDM role because he sits back and defends when he's in that position. So I'm um, pretty happy with his performances thus far, he's been quite impressive and uh, he seems to be a pretty solid item. Right, so after them games with this guy as my CDM, what are my thoughts on this card? It's, um, it's a pretty good item to be honest, I enjoyed using this card, it can be very solid defensively when it sits back and defends, and um, yeah, for a freebie, this item is definitely worth picking up, because uh, yeah, I don't think there are too many amazing Premier League CDM options, and this is a pretty good CDM card. Is this item better than Kante, Suzuko, etc, etc? No, it's not to be honest, but um, it's still a pretty effective defensive item for your ultimate teams. And considering you can pretty much get this card for free, it's obviously worth getting. Anyway, let's break it down, shall we? So the guy's pace, I have zero complaints about that. He is very quick for a DM. Um, occasionally can feel a bit uh, slow at first, but that's just his sprint speed kicking in. Once it fully kicks in, the guy is rapid and he can track back really well against very fast players. So very happy with his pace, his ability to come forward with the ball and his ability to track back. His positioning, I was... It was good, but it wasn't amazing. This guy will get forward, and sometimes he will stay forward, which can be annoying, but when he does stay back and defend, he's brilliant. I do advise to stay back while attacking instruction on this guy. I really do, and that way you'll probably get the most out of him. His shooting as a whole was good for a CDM, I guess. Really good shot power, very good shot power. His shots are so powerful in game, and from distance, he isn't too bad, but as you can imagine, his finishing is pretty poor. So you're better off shooting from outside the box than inside the box with this item. 
His passing was okay, nothing too special about it, but it was good enough. Um, his short passing was nice, and he can occasionally put through a good through ball too, but um, his passing isn't anything significant. The same, to be fair, can be said uh, about his dribbling. It's good, but it's not great, as you would expect. But he's a CDM, we don't expect him to be, you know, like a maestro on the ball. But uh, he controlled the ball quite well, and uh, he can dribble out of some situations, but um, as you can imagine, he's not the easiest player to manoeuvre overall. Now, onto the more important bits. How is this guy defensively? Very good, very good. In one-on-one -on -one situations, he defends very well. Like I've already discussed, he is very quick, and because of that, he can catch up to most defenders. And because of his strength and tackling abilities, he can dispossess most attackers with relative ease. He will either tackle them and take the ball from them, or he will use his strength and shove them off the ball. With him having such high strength and aggression, he does uh, shove a lot of people off the ball, which is obviously really good to see. Also, he's got a decent aerial ability as well. The guy is six foot one in game and has decent jumping, and he does win his fair share of aerial battles, which is pretty good. I was also really happy with the amount of interceptions that this card makes, and that's always a good thing for a DM to have a good interceptions. Also, his stamina is very good as well. So there is plenty to like about this item. Overall then, what's the verdict on this card? It's a pretty good CDM, and uh, considering it's just an 8-4 overall, I thought it performed very well in game. So with all in mind, is this card worth picking up? 100% it's worth getting. It's a free card at the end of the day, and it's a very good freebie in my opinion. I don't think it's like the best CDM in the game. I don't even think it's the best CDM in the Premier League, but it's a very good one. And as I keep saying, because it's free, it is definitely worth having in your club. So guys, those are my thoughts on the 84 rated Footmas Jean-Paul Gabamin card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this item. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one.